Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's nightfall, or one of these this week's nightfall, a thousand, one of the thousands. Zol, basically. Now I'm doing it on the warlock, so we're running Tartarus Gaze as my energy weapon, Bygones as primary, and Thunderlords my heavy. I'm running well uh, for a super with Lunar Faction boots. We are doing Arc Singe, heavyweight, momentum. Uh, we've got 110 handicap and obviously match game. Now the reason I'm doing another, I'll be doing a few more 100 Ks because I, I looked at my channel and realised I've been catering to hunters too much these days. Nearly all my 100 Ks are on a hunter, and I don't even main a hunter. Titan's my main, but there's very little for the warlock. So for all you warlocks out there, I apologise that I haven't been giving you love. That's going to change now. So we're going to keep going until. We've got at least one of each. Hunter, Titan, Warlock, 100k solo for every nightfall. So as you can see, when you get in here, there's a couple of snipers. It's worthwhile for peace of mind just to take the snipers out. That second sniper up there on the left, he's kind of covered. So rule of thumb, and, and it is a rule of thumb for these 100k's, anything that's shielded, if you don't have a sniper or some sort of heavy hitting special take them out with your heavy that's 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 what it's there for that's all your snipers gone and there's one more shielded knight round here i, I got a really i'm being really conscious of my commentary because i got the the strangest piece of uh strangest uh critique on my video which is i didn't even realize i was doing it smack my lips a lot when I'm when I'm doing commentary. It sounds like I'm trust me I'm not. I'm just clearing my voice, licking my lips, moistening my lips. So I'm being really conscious not to do it in this video. Uh so anyway, now that we've made it in here, you've took out all the ads, as I always say in the videos, keep an eye on your heavy ammo. You want to make sure that you're not getting into a situation where you've got to hang about waiting to drop heavy. I take a few of those out from here, and as you can see, I'm just, what I was doing here was just testing how much damage my sniper would do against the boss. And it actually seemed like it was probably just as easy to do it with the, the heavy. So, I just, if you want an ad to come out, shoot next to the ad. If it's close enough, the ad will eventually come out of cover. It's a, it's, it's a, something we've been doing in Destiny for quite a while. Now, because we're on the Warlock, we have we have the Rift, so we can get our health back whenever we want. I'm going to snipe that that ogre from up here. If you get an ogre in the first section, if you get an ogre here, you're going to get an ogre in the next in the last section before Zol. So, kind of, you can set yourself up for that a little bit. We've got the ogre. Now we're going to get another ogre at the end. It's a little bit different strategically if you get the shrieker if you get a shrieker then you're going to want to clear all these ads out before pushing down and then once you get to the top of these stairs then you can take you can take the shrieker same as when you get to the next the next section which has an ogre if you had if you had a a, a shrieker here uh what you would do is probably go after the shrieker first because it it can focus fire the doorway that you'll come out of and can just make life pretty difficult. So as you can see, just be kind of, the uh, best way to put it is to be kind of clinical here. Don't push into an area because uh, you've got the 110. If Now only use that 110 if you're 650. If you're not 650, don't take it down to 110. If you're 650 and you put it down to 110, it drops you to 540, which is the minimum requirement to come in it's, it's not the minimum requirement. It puts you on a par with the minimum that the nightfall states is, is good for you. Uh, so you can still do decent damage. If you are if you haven't hit 650, whatever you've hit, if you're 640, put it down to 100, and vice versa. Whatever you are under the 650, you take that same number off the, the, the power handicap. So I take out all the red bars, uh, I move up here, and then, now the reason I didn't go for him, normally I would take him out, 
Normally I would take him out from uh, outside, but he never showed himself to me, so I couldn't. So I took out all the red bars with primary, hopefully to drop heavy ammo. And then pushed in with heavy to take him down. Shielded add, heavy weight. Now, one thing I noticed in here is if it's, if, so, so there'll be, there's going to be a couple of waves, a couple of groups of ads that will spawn. There's going to be two or three here. I just kind of burst fire the, I don't, I don't just hold the finger down. I burst fire the Thunderlord because I don't want to waste in, waste ammo. When a boss, when, when a shielded knight comes out, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to focus fire. But I don't know if you know, you can see that in the video. Once I seen his health getting almost down, I stopped shooting because I knew the ele electricity would proc and kill him. As you can see, I've got heavy ammo in the distance there. So you're going to get, you're going to get either a knight or a wizard here. We've got the knight. So I put something on him and then I've had to run. Put the well down and these other knights are going to come at you. Now I've got Luna factions on so I'm auto reloading in the well. I know I've got heavy ammo up there. I want to take that shielded knight down and then I can go after the rest of them with primary to try and drop more. Now I'm going to say something that I, pr I don't know if I've ever said it in a video before. I listen to music quite a lot in headphones when I'm doing these nightfalls. Uh, I don't know, it just helps me. It helps me uh, concentrate, puts me puts me in the right frame of mind. That was why I didn't hear or even suspect that there was a, a, a acolyte that crept up behind me. So, but it, it always helps me. It puts me in a, it's very motivational. Maybe, maybe I'll start on Twitter putting what songs that I'm playing during what nightfall so i don't normally do this either guys and i apologize if it offends anybody i hope it doesn't i'm just putting it out there uh i do post a lot of stuff on twitter that i don't put in the videos and i don't put in the channel so if you're interested and in, i'm not sure anybody would be to be fair but if you are interested in my thoughts about stuff nip over to twitter if you're on there and you're active you could always give me a follow i'll always reply if you if you want to talk or you want a question answered I don't really like doing that. That's like saying hi, like, share, subscribe, and follow. I don't do that either. If you like the stuff, you'll do it yourself. So apologies to anybody that offends. I just thought, well, I might as well say it at least once. I, th I think I might have said it before on the channel. I just don't make a habit of it. So when you come out here, as you can see, I picked up the javelin in the previous area, and I moved into this area, you'll get enough sh throws to take out the first wave of acolytes that come out, the first three acolytes right in front of the door, and then the exploders just down below. Then you're going to get an ogre, or a shrieker, depending on what you got in the very first damage phase. If it's an ogre, you can push down a little bit further. If it's the if it's a shrieker, once you throw, you don't, you, you kind of, the doorway you come out of, is good cover. You can go back in there. No ads will push past the, the, the front of the doorway. It's good cover from the, the Shrieker. Make sure you focus fire the Shrieker. Get the Shrieker out of there. And then the rest is easy. Just follow exactly what I've done. So, here we go. I'm not going to just come in and go ham. Because I am going to need my, my heavy. This is where you really want to be uh, protective of heavy here. So, I've put the well down. Took down the first night. Now, just... Nip over, take that acolyte. I'm gonna take this ogre down. A little bit more focus, a little bit more stabbing of the the other smaller enemies. And then you've got these knights, take them down. And now what I'm gonna do is while I'm still in here, while I'm still protected, just see what I can do there, and then I'm gonna move for this. Now, once I get in here, you'll see I'm not gonna throw it because the score to be had. And I probably spent about 30 seconds longer in this area than I wanted to. The, this wanted, this wanted knight, he can be a pain in the backside. I didn't kill him here. I half, I half was trying to, and the other half, I just wanted him out of there. Because there's two yellow bar, two or three yellow bar acolytes over on the left hand side that I want. It's those guys that I want. So, just some of the worst sniping you've ever seen. Uh, so, he's gone. I want to take as many of these ads as possible because I've got time. Time's not the issue. 
it's score. I want to get as much score as I can. So those are the acolytes that are, they are focused in this area. Ideally, you want to just nip round there and see what you can do with the thunder lob because the more of them you can take out, you just have to be careful of the other side because that's where that wanted guy went. You have to understand where he is first. So we've took them out. They were the guys that were focused firing this. I've got the javelin. I'll grab some heavy and we'll see if we can take some of these ads out with the javelin. I'm not too bothered about now. I know there's not many left. So we've got four of them. That's good enough. In here. That I would suggest that with the score that I end up getting, you probably you probably could have just carried on. You know, you don't have to take those out. So as you can see, we're going to take this knight out, try and take him out with the sniper, because it's arc. And if it doesn't work, then there you go. Don't just, and, and it's something I'll, I say, it's a term I use, and I feel like a lot of people don't really understand what I'm meaning by it. Feather your trigger. Feather your trigger just means don't hold it down. Just press a little bit, you know, just kind of tap it. Tap the trigger. That's what I should be saying. Feather is a term I've always kind of used. So tap the trigger. So we want to get our health up. And I did not realize that there was still a shielded knight up there. So that's kind of what I'm saying about... Uh, that's kind of what I'm saying when I say, you know, be aware, don't just push into areas because stuff like that, it can happen. Now, I switched to the sniper to see if I could drop any more heavy. Didn't realize I had three bricks up here. And that's it. I mean, 187,000, 11 and a half minutes. Very simple to get this score, very straightforward. Now, if, if for time-wise, if I hadn't have messed about where the javelin was we could have been here a minute faster in which case and it's something i'll investigate with the titan i think how much score you can get if you don't melt zol if you go through the waves of ads because i can get here i can get here faster than i got here this time and maybe i could fight the waves of ads because there's a there's a lot of score to be had if you fight all these waves of ads but again this isn't a spectacle run it is a guide so I'm just showing you guys how to get that score. So again, tap the trigger. Wait until his mouth is fully opened. And then when it's opened, go for it. When he closes it, stop. Don't waste your ammo. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to hit crits constantly. I'm not really wanting to, you know, there, 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 there comes a point where... You know, I think I just get his, you can, you can shoot through his, I don't know if they're jowls or whatever they are. Now I want rid of him. So I'm trying to get that. He's immune. So then I move over to this side so that when Zol comes, if he comes before I finish with the ads, I'm in cover from him. There's two ogres because we've, we've done the big damage skip. We don't have to worry about, and I, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not holding the trigger down on those guys, and then we're just hoping to get the lightning effect happening with these acolytes. He'll come back out, and when he comes out, you just want to get a couple of crits, try and throw a grenade and get some, some of those guys. I think it hit the top, so I never got them. And there you go. Two hundred and five thousand, five hundred and forty-two. Pretty decent score. It's my high solo. It's my high solo hundred k score. So I was quite proud with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned a little bit. Uh, tell me if there's any content you guys want me to do. If there's anything you'd like to see. If there's any information you want to know, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. Uh, I appreciate all you guys watching the videos and supporting me. Anybody that knows me knows that's exactly why I do it. Is to help you guys. That's what what I get out of this. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.